Jeanette McDonald, a well-known figure in classic Hollywood, made a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. What's your favorite work of hers? Can you remember the first time you saw this famous actress in action? Share your special memories or personal experiences in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories. Stay tuned for interesting stories, funny, shocking, and sad. Keep watching for more fascinating facts about her life and career. Born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania on June 18, 1903, Jeanette McDonald's early life set the stage for her successful Hollywood career. Growing up in a middle-class family, her parents played a crucial role in nurturing her musical talents. Influenced by her father's love for music, Jeanette began formal voice and piano training during her childhood. This early exposure shaped her aspirations, and by her teenage years, it was clear she had a remarkable vocal talent. Supported by her family, she attended the Philadelphia Conservatory of Music, refining her singing skills. Jeanette's journey took a significant turn when she moved to New York City, a hub of cultural activity. The dynamic atmosphere fueled her ambition, and she quickly made strides in the world of musical theater. Her breakthrough came with the role of Sonia in The Merry Widow in 1929, marking the beginning of her rise to stardom. While her early career faced challenges, including transitioning to talking films, Jeanette's resilience and dedication propelled her forward. Collaborating with director Ernst Lubitsch, she starred in the successful film The Love Parade in 1929, showcasing her versatility as both a singer and actress. This marked the start of Jeanette's Hollywood career. The influence of her early years and family support became evident in her on-screen persona. Her ability to seamlessly blend singing and acting set her apart in an era where musicals gained immense popularity. The synergy of her classical training and the entertainment of her time allowed her to carve a unique niche for herself. In conclusion, Jeanette McDonald's early life experiences, enriched by her family's encouragement and her own determination, paved the way for a successful career. The combination of talent, passion, and the cultural backdrop of her time played a crucial role in shaping the actress into the figure we remember today. Jeanette McDonald embarked on a Hollywood journey marked by significant milestones and achievements. With a strong foundation in musical theater, she rose to fame in the late 1920s. The turning point came with her role as Sonia in The Merry Widow in 1929, launching her cinematic stardom. Despite challenges in transitioning to talking films, McDonald collaborated with director Ernst Lubitsch, delivering a standout performance in the successful film The Love Parade, showcasing her abilities as both a singer and actress. Her on-screen persona reflected a blend of classical training and the lively entertainment of her time. McDonald's seamless integration of singing and acting set her apart during the musical's heyday. This unique blend allowed her to carve a niche that resonated with audiences. Notable films like The Love Parade, One Hour With You, and Love Me Tonight showcased her versatility, earning acclaim and solidifying her status as a Hollywood icon. Recognition followed with her talent with Academy Award nominations for Best Actress. McDonald's journey, fueled by resilience and dedication, left a lasting impression on classic Hollywood. Her role in the entertainment industry endures and her contributions continue to captivate audiences, making her a timeless figure in cinematic history. In conclusion, McDonald's career was defined by key milestones, diverse roles, and notable awards. Her ability to navigate Hollywood's evolving landscape, coupled with her distinctive blend of singing and acting, cemented her as a celebrated actress whose influence transcends time. In unexpected places, Jeanette McDonald, a notable figure in classic Hollywood, found her way. In Woody Allen's early film Bananas, her voice played an unusual role, becoming a form of unconventional torture for a prisoner of war. This scene reflects her distinctive singing style's lasting influence, even in unexpected corners of cinema. In 1939, the public's admiration for McDonald peaked when she won the title Queen of Hollywood through a nationwide poll. Interestingly, during the same year, Tyrone Power was crowned the King of Hollywood, this acknowledgement from the public solidified her status as a beloved and influential figure in the entertainment industry. The year 1941 marked a significant point in her career with a reported salary of 300000 This substantial income highlighted her established position and recognition in the film industry, emphasizing her financial success during a time when gender pay disparities were more pronounced. McDonald's influence extends beyond the silver screen. 
Her voice, once used as an instrument of torture in a film, became a source of joy and admiration for many. The title Queen of Hollywood bestow would upon her by the public and her substantial earnings in 1941 underscore the depth of her influence and success. It's proof of her lasting legacy firmly embedded in Hollywood history. Jeanette McDonald's remarkable career extended beyond the silver screen, earning her recognition and accolades in unexpected realms. On May 30, 1953, she received an honorary Doctor of Music degree from Ithaca College in New York highlighting her significant contributions to music. While McDonald's on-screen chemistry with Nelson Eddy is celebrated, it took an amusing turn in the musical A Day in Hollywood A Night in the Ukraine. In this production, a character named Jeanette, a movie star, humorously laments her dull co-star Nelson while standing alongside a mannequin dressed as a Canadian Mountie. This playful portrayal showcases the humor associated with her famous duets, Adding a familial dimension to her life, McDonald was the younger sister of actress Marie Blake, providing a glimpse into the broader entertainment industry influence within her family. Beyond her Hollywood journey, McDonald's unique voice found an unconventional place in Woody Allen's film Bananas. Her singing became an unexpected form of torture for a prisoner of war, illustrating the influence of her distinctive vocal style. In 1939, McDonald achieved a pinnacle of public admiration when crowned Queen of Hollywood through a nationwide poll. This accolade, alongside Tyrone Power's recognition as King of Hollywood, solidified her status as a beloved and influential figure. A significant milestone in 1941 further emphasized her success, with reported earnings of 300000 underscoring her financial strength during a time of pronounced gender pay disparities. McDonald's influence wasn't confined to the silver screen, it resonated in unexpected corners of cinema and even in public perceptions of Hollywood royalty. The honorary degree, lampoon duets, familial ties, and unconventional cinematic appearances collectively contribute to the diverse impact of this celebrated figure. Jeanette McDonald, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood, gained favor from MGM studio chief Louis B. Mayer, who chose her to sing Ah, Sweet Mystery of Life at a memorial service in 1937. This choice sparked interest due to the contrasting wishes of the late Jean Harlow, who had expressed a desire for a less sentimental farewell. In her personal life, McDonald initially aimed to marry Jean Raymond on the 17th, marking their first date anniversary. However, logistical constraints led them to opt for the 16th instead. While filming San Francisco, co-star Clark Gable didn't hold back, describing McDonald as a holier-than-thou pain in the ass. Gable, seemingly unimpressed, would intentionally consume raw onions before kissing scenes in response to McDonald's previous complaints about his breath. Beyond the set, McDonald's life had its own share of unique moments. Her voice found an unconventional place in Woody Allen's film Bananas, where it served as a form of unconventional torture for a prisoner of war. This unexpected twist showcased her distinctive singing style's lasting influence in unexpected cinematic corners. In 1939, public admiration for McDonald peaked as she was crowned Queen of Hollywood through a nationwide poll. This distinction, alongside her reported salary of 300000 in 1941, underscored her status as a beloved and influential figure, especially noteworthy during an era marked by gender pay disparities. Her influence extended beyond Hollywood, earning her an honorary Doctor of Music degree from Ithaca College in New York in 1953. This recognition highlighted McDonald's significant impact on music, showcasing the very reach of her career. In a playful twist, McDonald's on-screen chemistry with Nelson Eddy took an amusing turn in the musical A Day in Hollywood A Night in the Ukraine. Here, a character named Jeanette humorously laments her co-star Nelson, adding a touch of humor to their famous duets. Furthermore, familial ties added a layer to her life story as she was the younger sister of actress Marie Blake. This connection provided a glimpse into the broader influence of the entertainment industry within her family. In conclusion, Jeanette McDonald's life was marked by unexpected moments, both on and off the screen. From unconventional cinematic appearances to humorous twists in on-screen chemistry, her influence transcended traditional boundaries, leaving a lasting impression on Hollywood history.